there we go the fridge is out all I got to do now is figure out what to do with the damn thing try to sell it on Kijiji still perfectly good working order so let's we'll see what we can do here big job ahead okay let's have a look at the progress so far everything's all apart yet quite the job anyways let's carry on okay I thought I'd just show you what's going on with the progress of the fridge took the old fridge out was in here without this black carpeting in here down in there is where I'm gonna put my new inverter and I gotta seal this up put the black carpeting on there a little better it's got some pink insulation foam behind that uh, tidy up the ends here I got two posts turned wood turned posts I'm gonna put on here so I can put my top back on flush with this okay I just wanted to show you how far I've come along that bit of daylight you see down there that was the size of the hole from the back of the fridge the old fridge that used to be in this hole here it was all uh, it was all uh, cabineted in but now I'm putting just this portable uh, plug-in fridge it's a freezer also fridge freezer I'm putting that in there but I have to block off that area there I've got this piece of carpeted pink foam piece here that I'm going to put in there along up the back to block that off and then I can put my uh, inverter my 1500 watt inverter in there along with the fridge back in there so I've got everything all set up so this is the progress so far okay guys just let me show you what I come across or come up with here got the fridge in behind the fridge I don't know if you can see it oh yeah I got the new inverter 1500 watt inverter and the fridge is looking real good works great everything works good here I've got a, a Y connector here I can leave the fridge plugged in there and I can plug the TV in here so I can watch TV if I'd like to okay I thought I'd just show you guys the finished product here where I've got my fridge fridge is down there right above the uh, converter power supply in the back behind the fridge I have my inverter I've got my two wood turned posts here and the top on and then for now I think I'm just gonna plug the I just have the fridge plugged into this cigarette lighter there I may plug it in permanently wire it in permanently on the bottom and <clears throat> mounted my TV back where it's supposed to go right there there's the fridge right at my headboard <laughs> so I got a pillow that goes there my bed so everything is perfect all right I got this Road Pro little oven thing that I've had ever since I left home here and I haven't used it so I thought I'd 
I saw one in the store and I thought, yeah, I should be using that thing. I'll make something. So what I did was bought a uh, pork roast. I put it in there about, I should have videotaped putting it in when I, when I put it in and what have you. It's got one of those little green knobs that pop out when it's done. I would say I had it in here for a good couple of hours though. Probably could use less time than that. But uh, I have popped it open to see what it looks like. Let's have a look, see. Open it up. Ho oh, ho. And look at that. The little green indicator has popped up saying it's done and I've cut into it. Does that look good? Okay, what I'm going to do here is leave the uh, pork roast in there and add some um, rice. This is Caribbean style whole grain rice with red beans and some peppers. So we're going to cook that up. It's I turned it on. Yes, it's getting warm. And we'll check back in just a few minutes and see what this is like. All right, so what we've got is rice, tomatoes, and the pork roast. Great meal. That little oven works perfectly.